The witness. The malefactor of our first collapse is at our doorstep. Once thought to be a force known as the darkness, the witness revealed itself to be an entity that instead wields the darkness against us. It spoke through our ghosts and offered us salvation if we submitted to it. We refused. Though we do not know its true intentions, we can only assume it seeks to finish what it started during our collapse. Our resolve was tested when Sabathune, Hive Goddess of Trickery, disguised herself as one of our foremost guardians, Osiris. She gained access to our secrets, but in turn, Osiris gained access to hers. Sabathune had rebelled against the Witness and hid what might be our only chance of defeating it away on the planet Neptune. Now, former Cabal Emperor Callus and his Loyalist warships have joined the Witness's advance on Earth. But we found an unexpected ally in Callus's daughter, Empress Kaito, and Mithrax, the Elixni leader of the House of Light. Together, we have united against our common enemy. In an unprecedented move, the Traveler left Earth to confront the Witness head-on. This conflict was set in motion long before we existed. But we will bring it to an end, one way or another. Vanguard to all units. Keep the enemy away from the Traveler. At all cost. Found the veil. We're in no position to engage the enemy. We don't have a choice. We're out of time. Osiris. Don't die. Guardian, help Osiris reach the veil before Callus does. And please stay close to him. He doesn't have any life to spare.
I'm checking our location. We've hitched a ride to the Outer Giants, Neptune orbit. Osiris was right. The witness sent Callus after something hidden here. Guardian. Did not anticipate a fellow stowaway. Callus is after an artifact on Neptune, the Veil. I'm working on a plan to stop him. For now, find your way through that ship. Shielding the cabal. Another weapon from the witness. Vigilant. With the witnesses backing, they could throw anything at us. Forward! Prepare for descent! Bring glory to the Herald of the Witness! The Shadow Legion is one step ahead of us. Any damage we can inflict on the Cabal fleet will buy us time. We should regroup as soon as possible. But maybe we can disable the ship's computer core. I've located the terminal here and sent you their ship layouts. Just received it. Locating now. Got it. We're not far from the core. I can't help but feel like we should have stayed behind to protect the Traveler and our people. Was it the right choice to follow Osiris? If the Witness establishes a link with a Veil, it'll be over for the entire system. All of our losses would have been for naught. We have never faced a threat of this magnitude. Even if you stayed, you wouldn't have stood a chance against a witness. None of us would. This is our only hope to survive the witness. between the Witness and Callus. I feel they'll have more surprises in store. Card lets us access the computer core. Let's head there now. I'm relaying my position to you. Make your way to this ship. We need some way to get to the surface. I believe I have a method to accomplish that. Did I detect a bit of hesitation in your voice? No. My impromptu stratagems have a high rate of success. J just get here quickly. <laughs> Look, down there. Alice's flagship. He's heading right for the surface. Oh, is that you, my tenacious little guardian? What do you think of my 
Shadow Angel. <laughs> Revel in these hollow victories. I want you in the best of spirits when we meet in the arena. We have to get to Osiris quick. He's used to getting things done his own way. Seems like he hasn't changed, even after. Now he only has us to watch his back. Hopefully he hasn't gone off the deep end. Okay, here's the plan. Destroy the engine. Of this ship, the one we're on. Crazy or not, we need to stop this invasion. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the witness. So if you aren't going to help me, then leave me alone. Osiris's escape pod plan. Even for him, this is pretty touch and go. I'm almost at the escape pod. Where are you? We're being sealed off. Have to find another way. There's a whole city here. An entire civilization. I've got a ping on Osiris's coordinates. Let's find him. You on the road. Identify yourself. Are you with the invaders? We're guardians from the last city. Light bearers. We're fighting the same enemy. We're here to find something called the Veil. Nimbus and I are a little pinned down right now, but we'll be there soon. Stay frosty, Tyrion. We were the last ones left. Wait until the Vanguard hears about this. No time for that now. If we don't stop the Shadow Legion, there won't be any city left. Guardian, I'm up here. I think the Cabal know I'm here. I'm detecting an anomaly on my sensors. We'll check it out while the coast is clear. Understood. Patiently note that it is quite confined in here. This 
energy source. This is incredible. You can wield it. Fast. We don't like to waste time. Well, good. There isn't a moment to lose. We regroup at the watchtower. You don't understand. We've got to get to the Vale. I understand what's at stake, like Bearer. Far better than you. Not all of us have lives to spare.
So, you're the light bearer. Huh. Look, I I'm not gonna claim my uh, mind's eye as anything special. But you hear Earth's immortal warlords growing up and you think like round shields and bushy eyebrows. And here you come, stepping around, smacking bad guys with green stringy stuff. I mean, that was... <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Anyways, enough about you. I'm Nimbus. I'm the rookie Cloud Strider here in Neomuna. The Cloud Striders have kept this city safe for generations. Sans Guardians. It seems like we got lots of similar goals. Or at least, similar enemies. Rohan asked me to be your guiding light for the time being. I'd do pretty much anything to keep the Vale and the people of Neo Muna safe. But when I took my oath, I didn't think I'd be babysitting. <laughs> well, then again, mind's eye. Not great. Now, you know the Vale's in danger. I know where those big guys are headed. So let's go do some hero stuff. May this transmission reach you, wherever you find yourself. The scepter will rest true in the hands of its wielder, but a message comes with no such guarantee. In the aftermath of the Witnesses' attack, the Vanguard called for aid. On behalf of the Awoken people, I answered. We now face a war on two fronts. One on the far reaches of the system, and the other at your home, Earth. Continue your fight against the Voice in the Darkness. I will assist as best I can in your absence. But even my powers have their limits. Return when you are able. Your people need their heroes. My vision was through. Even after years of speculation, no one guessed the Ishtar Collective made it here. Let alone build a city we couldn't find. As for Callus, his grip on the city remains strong, but it appears these cloud striders are keeping him at bay. For the time being, at least. His pursuit of this object, the Veil, is of dire importance. If he gets to it first, urgency is key, Guardian. We cannot fail. You Earthlings know how to make an entrance, don't you? I'm Rohan, Cloud Strider, protector of the city of Neomuna. Welcome to Neptune, Lightbearer. Never thought I'd say that. I always figured if Lightbearers came here, I'd be fighting them off. Lucky for both of us, we're on the same side. In any case, I hope we can find common ground, or at least common enemies. You heard Osiris. We need to get to the Vale before Callus and his Shadow Legion. Let's get in the city. I'll open a radio channel with Nimbus. Rohan always said. This city is impressive. That's the Amuna for you. You should see it in the Cloud Arc. Cloud Arc? It's where all of the Amuna citizens live virtually. I keep the city and their slumbering bodies safe. We shouldn't get distracted. Securing the Vale before Callus is the most important task. Do not delay. Looks like all the commotion made the Vex crawl out of their pesky little hidey holes around the city. That's the least of our concerns right now. Push forward, Guardian. Well, tiny problem on top of that. Seems like the Shadow Legion put up a couple of barriers between you and your goals. I managed to ping a keycard using the city's tech that might work with the barrier. I'll keep looking around for more, but you can start there. How many more do we need, Nibis? I'm tracking down the last few as we speak, and... Actually, it looks like they're on their way to you, Lightbearer. on this 
data. So much of it is corrupted. That's different than the Vex corruption attempts I'm used to. Let's find ourselves a workaround. So long as we don't waste any more time. Callus' forces are occupying enough of your city. a little off. I'd be lucky if the witness doesn't have the veil in its possession already. Are you always this much fun? Fun is not my concern right now. With the amount of power the veil has, I think it can hold its own a little longer. You're a hop skip and a couple rooftops away from the veil, light bearer. The closer we get, the more I feel strange. Ugh, something is wrong. I feel drained. Some of our powers are gone. What is this device? It appears to be some sort of paracausal disruptor. I shall research it more to find a weakness, but for now, carry on. We're too late. They've got the veil. Guardian, I don't... This doesn't feel right. The veil? It's worse than before. Much worse. Ah! Familiar. 
only much stronger this time. I feel sick. Like I shouldn't be here. We're in this together. Osiris and Nimbus need to hear about this. So, the Veil's safe, for now. I don't have an Earth Warlord translation for this, so uh, stick with me. If Callus uses whatever that radial thingy is and somehow destroys the Veil, well, it's tied directly to our Cloud Arc and literally all Neo Mooney. I don't think you need a Warlord translation for why that's bad. From the sound of it, your buddy there, Osiris, wants to go in guns a blazing, which, hey, I fully support. But the old man, the uh, other old man, my old man, not literally, but, you know. Between you and me, he isn't sure it's the right call, but don't worry, though. I reminded him you guardians are the experts here. You've been dealing with this whole witness thing a lot longer than we have. It's okay if we lean back and try a little trust fall. Well, if you drop us, it might be my funeral, but whatever, it'll be fun. Light Bear, you have a dangerous mission ahead of you. Storming Callus' stronghold won't be easy. Normally, I'd have more intel before a direct attack. The Guardian has faced the unknown and prevailed every time. They are equal to the task. The radial mast is somewhere in Callus' ship. If you strike swiftly, we can remove it as a threat before it ever reaches the Veil. Enter Callus' fortress, find the radial mast, and destroy it. Oh, they're rolling out the red carpet for us. Disrupting the circuit should open the door. Be cautious. Callus is slowed. He'll have his most powerful forces guarding the radio mass. Strange here, too. A powerful concentration of light energy? Something's not right here. Wait. A source of paracausal energy? It could be the radial mass. The Shadow Legion have the corridor locked down tight. Even if we could fight through, they'd have enough time to secure the radial mast. There must be more than one path to the radial mast. Stand by. I'll send you all the sensor scans we have. Guardian, do you see that? It's more of that strange darkness energy. What is it doing here? Looks like a dead end. Hang on, I'll reroute us. You're losing valuable time. This is exactly what I was concerned about. That statue could have come right out of the Leviathan. Maybe he's still the same old Callus deep down. The Shadow Legion must use this grab lift to move equipment and troops across the ship. It should take us deeper in. I still can't believe my sensors. Could the radial mast really be a light artifact? There's still a great deal we don't know. What is the radial mast capable of? How will it affect the veil? And what is the witness planning? All very good questions, but ones that can wait until we've destroyed the radial mast. 
and saved your city. I know what's at stake here, Osiris. The Shadow Legion are ready for a siege all around. Just look at all these ships. Callus is ready to annihilate this city. If those ships reach the cryopods, the casualties would be devastating. Hey, I think we could help with that. Overloading those energy conduits should do the trick. Are you handling extremely volatile energy? Again? Again? How often does this happen? Too often. to worry about now. An improvised distraction. But an effective one. And the people of Neomono will be safer. At least for now. Tormentor, up high! We're getting closer. I can sense it. Good, good. They haven't moved it yet. There's still some time. Focus on the path ahead of you, Guardian. You're almost there. It's strange. I thought as we got further in, we'd see more of the old Callus. But this... How much has the witness changed him? Osiris has been struggling, but I don't know what we can do to help, if we can do anything. If my angles are right, this grav lift is a straight shot to the radial mast. We're almost there. You have overcome every obstacle so far, Guardian. Do not falter now. Just look at this place. All these Shadow Legion soldiers. There's a whole army in here. An army, ready to march on the Amuna. Callus won't leave a single wall or citizen standing. That won't come to pass. As long as we stop him in time. Something's wrong. The door just opened for us. I have a bad feeling. Be vigilant. Monument must be the radial mass. There's no mistaking it. That's light energy radiating from it. Oh no. At last you have arrived, God. Welcome to this fight. This is your chance. Destroy the radial mass. So you come.
Guardian. Not now. Now you will see true power. What could have been yours if only you had accepted my generous offer? You cannot escape fate and oblivion. Getting a transmission. It's uh, a set of coordinates inside this arena. Is this the extent of your strength? Is this all the travelers' chosen guardians can muster? <laughs> Don't be fooled by his act. The callous you face is no almighty emperor, but something far more dangerous. A hungry, desperate beast. Once the Cabal Empire and all its bounty was his to command and his to consume. Joy was his purpose and his strength, he said. To angst over edicts and enemies was weakness. But I could see in his eyes dread that his pleasures would soon come to an end, clouding his sight from an incoming coup. I should have killed him then, but I thought exile more fitting. I thought he'd shrivel to nothing in the void of space. Instead, he caught a glimpse of something more. A chance to become greater than he'd ever been. Like a war beast after a blood scent, he chased that chance, abandoning all honor, reason. There was nothing he would not sacrifice for his own salvation. And when the witness came to him at last, Callus faced what he had run from all along. If we don't stop him, he'll make sure it's the end for us all. Empress Keigel's forces will help push back Kallus' advances. We've done nothing but waste time! I understand. I cannot lose you again in your eagerness to fight. It is not the same as before. I am contemplating your most recent outburst with Strand to see if there are opportunities for improvement. It was out of control. We did the best we could. We need to do better! We don't know what Callus and the Witness want, but if it will have an effect on us all. I, I, I can't allow that to happen. I must ponder more on these strands. You should consult with the Cloud Striders to consider what our next steps could be. Osiris. 
I'm fine, Ghost. I'll be fine. Go on. These are precarious times. I came to see an end to Callus once and for all. But, and I say this with considerable restraint, we are not ready. I've witnessed a great many patriarch of the Cabal Empire poisoned by obsession. Gaul with the light, Callus with the darkness. I worry for Osiris. Recklessness can manifest into obsession. He must rein in his tempestuousness to hope to defeat Callus. So in war, the way is to avoid what is strong and strike at what is weak. That Kyle. She's something else, huh? Well, look, I was rooting for us. Really, I was. There's no greater joy for me than doing something Rohan would call incredibly reckless. He'll shake his head and say his little catchphrase. Nimbus, headlong and empty-handed. I'm sure you heard it. It's shorthand for, hey, kid, stop trying to do it all yourself. We're partners for a reason. And if I screw up and things go south, well, we'll fix them together. The Cloud Arc is still vulnerable. If we can cycle the power, a hard reset like that should kick things back into gear. It's just, this hard reset is deep in Vex territory, and that's where you come in. Osiris and Rohan can go process their differences over some fermented tea or whatever. We're off to go protect the people of Neomuna. So, going directly after Kalis kind of blew up in our face. We need to be looking at the bigger picture. We want to protect the Veil. Vale. We first and foremost need to protect the Cloud Arc. Rohan, I think we're still a little fuzzy here. What exactly is the Cloud Arc? It's our city's network. Our infrastructure. Our people. Our defenses. Everything depends on it. And what we're doing now is stopping the Vex from siphoning energy from the Cloud Arc's reactor. We do that, the Veil's vale safe, and the Ammonia are safe. Bing, bang, boom. Make your way to the Cloud Arc Reactor. We'll head to the central power junction. Once you cycle the system, we'll be able to return power to the reactor. We're on. Just so we're clear, if the Cloud Arc is lost, what does that mean for the Neomuni? All our citizens have uploaded their consciousness into the Cloud Arc. No Cloud Arc means lights out for everyone in Neo Luna. Ah, so it's bad. Got it. That's another one of those pockets of darkness energy. Should we get a closer look? Hey, it worked that time! Why did it work that time? Huh. It's like you're pulling on some kind of invisible ropes. I'm detecting those sources as a concentration of energy coming from a common source. It's got to be the veil. Like some sort of magnetic field all around Neomuna. Let's keep an eye out for more of those. Power junction, ready to blast this power back to the cloud arc once you've cycled the system. Guardian down. Hold on. These Vex are short circuiting voluntarily. Ah, okay. You'll have to clean up those Vex confluxes before heading to the reactor. We haven't observed this kind of behavior before. Hope you're taking notes, Nimbus. On the headless robot dance? Yeah, I've seen it before. It's gotta be a way for them to create a gateway to the cloud arc. Or. Express themselves emotionally? I don't know who can say, honestly.
This station's power output is unbelievable. Earth was decades away from technology like this, even during the Golden Age. The cloud arc needs a lot of juice. Like we said earlier, it supports all the Neo Moody, the city's defenses, and also the Veil's defenses. Once we get that power, we'll have all the backup we need to take back the Veil from Kallus. That's good. We're going to need all the help we can get. It's escaping! Wait, why did it leave? Weird. Something's off. Keep going, but keep an eye out. I'm in place, and I can see you're coming up to the reactor. Stop the Vex from siphoning the station, and we're golden. a little too easy. Causal superposition? Like magnetic poles. 
You've been busy. Well? For so long, we saw Dark and Light as antagonists. We believed we were the champions of the good because we wielded the light. If these are not moral forces, if they are not opposites, what are they? At its root, the Traveler is a terraformer, a, a gardener. It generates natural life, physical transformation at a molecular scale across whole planets. This should have been our first hint. The domain of the light is the domain of the physical. The darkness then is revealed in many facets. Dreams and nightmares, emotions, pain, memory. The nature of Strand confirms this line of thinking. Darkness is something entirely apart from light. A paracausal union, conjoining intangible conscious realities discursively linking to... You're talking about the River of Souls. River? Yeah. It's a story we tell kids on Neptune. A nursery rhyme. Sort of. Since before history, there's been this raging river. In the story, some try to divert the river. Others try to build a dam. But nothing stops it. Lots of people have believed that we either sink in the water or learn to swim. Don't we? See, that's the real wild part. We are the river. And empowered by it, it would seem. You know, I think I know of a place where we can find some of that power. I talked with Osiris. You know, he gives off uptight museum volunteer vibes, but he's a nice guy when you catch him one on one. He got me thinking, which is a compliment I can give very few people. There's a place nearby you two might find useful for your strand stuff. I'll get you the coordinates. Speaking of compliments, you, you never fail to amaze me, you know that? Everything that's come at us, you're just like, oh, bam, poo, poo, spot, ow. And suddenly whatever's coming at us ain't coming at us anymore. And we just keep doing it. Like it's nothing. Wow. The first time Rohan told me I did a good job, I'd given up hoping for it, and by the time I got it, I didn't need it. In hindsight, I think he did that on purpose, but whatever. I promised myself I'd do it different when I took over. The old man might think compliments go straight to your head. But if that helps you strandify and us take down Callus, by all means, let it go to your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So, Nimbus, want to fill us in on where we're headed? There's this place where cloud striders go. A place to be alone, meditate, pray. If the old bird theory holds up, should be a bigger source of strand there. Let's hope it's larger than the ones you've seen thus far. You can see them? Whoa, wait a minute. Hang on, so you've got resurrection, we jumps, and the ability to witness thinning in the fabric of existence. Who do I gotta kill to hear one of those ghosts? If Strand is another side of the darkness, how come we've never encountered these sources before? The old bird thinks it's like a stink cloud the veil leaves behind. I said it's a similar type of byproduct. To use a different analogy, if we are all part of this river of souls, how do we direct the river's current? I said we are the river. You don't direct anything. You just flow. There, another strand source. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's begin. Effects are swarming. Let's see how quickly you can dismantle them.
next to mark the path. Guess they want this strand source for themselves. Cool. The Vix could learn much from a power originating in linked consciousness. This is... wow. Good. Now the truth training can begin. this attraction. Sagira, could you run some scans? Oh, right. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Rohan, 
I have been pondering the veil's paracausal effects on ghosts. I know I haven't been the easiest guest in your city. Pain is not a hindrance. It simply reminds us we're still breathing. Still fighting. of the radial mast is imminent. The veil is compromised. The Yamuna will fall. Then all of Zul will follow. Strand will be our edge against Kallus. The Guardian is ready to wield it. I think. Rohan and I are with you. This is our city. The Shadow Legion are honorless cowards. They shall share Kallus' grave. <laughs> That suppression field again. We can't use all of our power. Go closer to it. I have a hypothesis. That device is of pyramid origin, built to suppress our powers, our known power. Callus is not prepared for Strand. Use it to overcome their suppression field. Scanning the area for Strand now. Your Strand readings are higher than they've ever been. Your training's prepared you for this. Strand flows through you as it flows through everything. Zone's clear. What were these, uh, Terran toys you mentioned? Something called a drink tank. Looks like fun. You stole those schematics from my files, didn't you? Information wants to be free. The Cabal have me pinned down. This Shadow Legion position is heavily fortified. We're fucked as well. Take out their fuel cells and clear our path to the radial mass. I'm counting on you, Guardian. I'll need backup with Limbus out of the pipe. We're holding the skies and keeping Callus' reinforcements at bay for now. But it won't hold forever. Rohan and the Guardian are on the way. We're running out of time.
radio mast. It's activating. I'll buy you some time, light bearer. Be careful, Rohan. Even you can only deter it for so long. There must be a way to destroy it. Guardian, as long as I can hold the line, the radio mast can't create the link. Find a way to destroy it. Hurry! Okay, Nimbus. My witness, there have been complications. Our hold over the Veil has been temporarily loosened. You fear loss, Emperor. Your fear brings you pain. We know pain. You have no purpose, because you fear to seek one. That fear is your failure. My failure? My failure? I defend this force with vicious subjugation, batter down the gates of our enemies, and seized our glittering pride. Why? Because I wanted it! You hold the universe in your grasp, and all you can think of to do with it is... Secure the veil. We will create the link. Infinite apologies. The veil is yours. It will be dark. for the drive. When we take on this job, get the Augs and everything, the clock starts ticking. Ten years may not seem like a lot, especially to you, but it's well spent. It's worth it. I can't think of a single Strider that went before their expiration date. We've got way bigger problems right now. We need to get Neo Muna's defenses working again. I got reports of Shadow Legion attempting to get up close and personal with the Vexnet. 
I have absolutely no idea why, apart from the breathtaking views this time of axial tilt. But we're not waiting around to find out. That sounds like a good plan, right? It's what he would have... No. That doesn't matter. You and I are gonna see this through. Ready when you are. Guardian, my forces report that Shadow Legion units are shifting their attention to the Cloud Arc. That's likely why Neomuna's defense systems are reading offline, but I bet those Vex pumps are also poking too close to the city's internals. Let us hope your technology continues to be resilient. This shift likely means Kallus is attempting a different approach. Is that a Taken Blight? The Shadow Legion are forcing Taken into that Vex pocket. The Vex net uses similar gateways as the Cloud Arc, which means they could infiltrate the network and gain access to the Veil. Taken are relentless, especially under the Witness's control. We need to get in there and stop them. the access point. Let's get rid of that Taken before it opens a path into the Cloud Arc. our preparations to ensure Callus's defeat. This prison in between, it will shatter. But I need power. I am pain. I am terror. I am Nezorak. Hey, Guardian! I hope you're feeling a little more confident with Strand. Sure sounds like Osiris is. Earlier I asked him how things were going with the green strings. He just to mess with him. 
But after correcting me, he started explaining more of his theories in great detail. A lot of proper nouns got thrown around. So I zoned out for most of it, but he sure sounded excited, and that's what counts. When I tuned back in, he was talking about how you and him still got to figure out how to actually master Strand. I think Rohan would have agreed, and so do I. Not because he's dead, and I automatically agree with a dead guy, although it's not like he's really in a position to argue, am I right? I, Cloud Strider Dara Danu of Neomuna, genuinely think it's a good idea. is now operational. I'm full of fury, she's got an army, and you got magic green strings. Let's crush this Callus guy. We aren't ready for Callus. We don't even understand this erratic power at a foundational level. It's time we figure it out. Keitel, we'll need your troops. Nimbus, charge up as many of the remaining turrets as you can, while Osiris helps me to untangle this strand. When we think about controlling something powerful, it's easy to assume it takes strength. Determination. A force of will. But what I've learned is that we cannot control every facet of nature. Instead of tightening our grip, we must open our palms, accepting the ebb and the flow. Letting go in the face of grief in all its shapes. Through failure, through loss, we can overcome the impossible. and in our training with Strand. But something is still missing. And we will find it together. Perhaps inspiration will strike where we least expect it. Follow wherever Strand leads you. Let's experiment. Shadow Legion ahead. No doubt preparing for a siege. We must take this time to prepare as well. The battle will be ours soon, but now is not the time. We have never struggled harder against the greater evil, and yet, we know now what Nimbus taught us. All products of the mind are conjoined in the darkness. Our obstacles and our goals are all contained within. In fact, they are the same. The same as us, the same as our enemies. What if, in trying to master this power, in trying to take control of this conflict, We've been swimming against the river's current. It would certainly explain the exhaustion. The question remains. How do you flow with the river? Brute force yields little progress, while careful execution paves a path towards a greater power. Rohan would have said, headlong and empty handed. Perhaps our towering friend understood more about this power than even he knew. Think on it. 
When did you start seeing true success with Strand? When we helped the Neo Mooney by rebooting the power station. What did that have to do with Strand? Our perspective changed, as did our approach to fighting our battles. We took a step back, saw the broader whole, and moved in keeping with it. So what? We flow with the river by planning better? By seeing our obstacles as part of the bigger picture, and using the bigger picture to overcome them. Excellent! That was excellent! We're really onto something here, huh? What changed? To properly observe phenomena of the light, one needs the right instrument. And for darkness? One needs the right perspective. I think we've found it. Seek out more strand and see what this new perspective offers. Even after all that, it seems the Guardian's energy is still... stable. Is it possible the perspective shift was all we were missing? Do not underestimate this moment. This is the product of humbling training, many failures, and your determination. But you have not mastered this power until you can bring these lessons to bear under duress. I think I know where this is going. I have a challenge for you. The Vexnet contains many pockets used for testing new subroutines. There is one very near you. Perfect to discover what you can really do with this power. This is it, Guardian. Remember, blow with the river. Well, what are you waiting for? Again. What do you think, Guardian? I hate to butt in on your enlightenment, but Shadow Legion are on the move. Another time, then. You've more than proven yourself. Kallus has no idea what's in store for him. Guardian, all of our training, all of our losses, it's brought us to this moment. We must stop Kallus from reaching the Veil and establishing a link to the Traveler. Final stand, baby! If I can get this old Ishtar era orbital beam thing up and running, it might come in handy. I would suggest exercising an abundance of caution around untested Ishtar technology. I miss the old go in without a plan and hope for the best, Osiris. That is a gross mischaracterization. Today shall be the end of Kallus' reign. The Shadow Legion will submit or be crushed beneath my heel. are entering Neo Mooney airspace now. Something's not right, though. Set up anti-air guns! This is our city! Eradicate their weapons. I will not subject any more of my soldiers to such fruitless deaths. are rallying, but it will take some time. You're almost at the Veil, Guardian. Every moment wasted brings us that much closer to Calamity. So, this defense relay thing, taking a bit more work than I thought. It hasn't been turned on since the Ishtar days. Hope it still works. 
with the Empress's Legion routed. It may be our last line of defense. Sounds like someone's coming around to the untested Ishtar weapon. She's almost ready. I think I got it. Whoa! Did you see that? Totally blend that. Keep the turret under our control. They're vital to our defense. Tanks are headed to your position. That sounds like a job for untested Ishtar weapon. Paint the targets, Guardian. You tag them, I'll frag them. Traitor worshipping a false god. We are Cabal. We eat the mountains. We drink the sea. If any shred of honor left, then at least give us the pleasure of a worthy battle. Will Keitel be okay? I have a feeling she can take care of herself. Empress Keitel is buying you time to find the Veil before the Shadow Legion. Don't squander this opportunity. According to Neo Mooney lore, the Veil is deep beneath the ground. Like, way deep. Whatever you find in there, just keep going downward. We're keeping an eye on the surface. Keitel's holding off Callus for now, but she's outnumbered. Osiris, I'm sending you a visual feed. We could use your help navigating this place. Incredible. Just like the archive on Venus. You should be able to access that Ishtar terminal like any other. That must be the veil. It's massive. I feel a little strange. Don't know how to describe it. It almost gives me the same feeling as the traveler. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Let's press on. Is this? Looks like a cloud art prototype. long as I could. Callus is coming for you. It's in your hands now, Guardian. Give him the end he deserves. I'm reading major shockwaves in the vault. The Emperor smashed 
rushing through that place. Hurry, Guardian. He'll get there before you. Idol, we've done it. Callus is no more. You gave him a cabal's end. I'll believe it when I see it for myself. Hey, uh, do you guys feel that? No clue what you're talking about. We're almost at the veil. Hang tight. Osiris. Get your ghost out of there! Finality takes shape. It's creating the link! At long last. Destroy it! just happened. We 
just lost. Zavala, come in. Trevor. Gone. Should I feel humbled by this sacrifice? Relieved that it can't grant any more of our enemies the light? Lost? Without a god in whom I can place my trust? consumes me in this moment is the human loss. We've watched so many die for this war. And yet, those losses have given us insight and common bonds. We stand alongside more allies than ever before. Humans, Awoken, Elixni, even the Cabal. When I came to the last city, I looked up to the heavens for the hope the Traveler gave us. Guardian, the Traveler is gone, but we're still here. It may seem small, but it's no less important under the circumstances. Despite your triumphs against the former Emperor, the Witness has transformed the Traveler, and gone somewhere we cannot follow. Losses are no stranger to any of us, and I have long since known that the world does not obey laws of poetic justice, much as we might hope otherwise. It will be easy to look at the sky and falter. We cannot. We must take the time we have and make these losses mean something. Neptune is the best and only direction we have. Work with the Cloud Striders. Learn what you can about the Veil. A step at a time, an inch at a time, we keep going. With or without the Traveler. It doesn't make sense. How are we still alive? Was the Witness only interested in the Veil? It appears to have created a link using Ghost and the Veil. The convergence of primordial light and darkness to open a portal. But to where? We should focus our efforts on the Veil and the trail the Witness might have left behind. If you need a moment, take it. But bear in mind, one loss does not equate to defeat. Keep fighting. I wanted to thank you for bringing an end to what was once my father. I wish we had a moment of respite to celebrate our victory. Greater strife lies ahead. I will prepare the Cabal for the Witness's machinations, and when it reveals itself, I will once more be standing by your side on the battlefield.
I'm Steve. Callus is gone, and the veil is safe for now. I don't really know what victory looks like going forward, but I'm not gonna take this win from us. From Neil Muna. It's weird not being the rookie anymore. I'm just Cloud Strider Nimbus. Feels wrong. Like I jumped out a window without my board. There was confidence in knowing the buck stopped with someone else. For Rohan, when I met him at least, it seemed like he just took everything in stride. It was easy for him. <laughs> I guess I'll get there someday. We're having Rohan's induction into the Hall of Heroes in a bit. Will you join us? It'll be great. Quinn will say something stuffy. There'll be lots of cheering. Maybe a whistle if you want to get spicy. But I think he'd be honored if you were there. Today, we honor relentless Rohan, his service, his sacrifice. More than a protector of Neomuna, he was a true cloud strider. He cut his years short so that the whole of humanity may thrive far into the future. Today we suffer, so tomorrow can live on. <laughs>